hey yo hey welcome back to my channel today i am doing an unboxing of a new method for me to do your diy notebooks now as you can see i have two already done notebooks that i created using my cinch and i've done a video on a cinch before but just to remind you this here is my hottie swap cinch machine that I purchased from Hobby Lobby. You can also purchase it on Amazon.com. And I'll leave a link in the description down below in case if you are interested in getting the cinch. So I created these using the double wire binding. That's black and this is white. They come in various sizes. <clears throat> what I like about doing with the coils is that you can open and flatten out your book to write in. Now this is my meal planner that I just created. This will show up on my Etsy shop. This was my prototype. The only thing that will differ is that this will not be on the back of this. This will be its own individual sheet. Um, and it's just recipe cards in the back. And then this one is my Bible study journal. This will also go in my Etsy shop and it's pretty much just the same page throughout black and white with just one cover. And so in today's video, I am going to show you guys how I am putting this together using the coil binded method. So this is the wire binding, and then this one is the coil binding that you may notice on notebooks, one subject, two subject notebooks that you'll get from like Walmart or Target. And so this new machine is going to show us how to do it with just the coil binding. So I purchased, let me move that out the way. I purchased my binding machine from Amazon, well, from Lamination Depot through Amazon.com. I love Lamination Depot. I get my spines from there. The spines in, in these notebooks I, I purchased from there as well as now this machine. So let's get into what's inside. And this, this was somewhat heavy picking it up from the post office. I didn't have it delivered to my home because I didn't want to entice the thieves. As you can see, and I'll probably flip this around. Here is the original box and it is created by Truebine. So Lamination Depot houses Truebine products, which Amazon sells. Got it. Either way, link in the description down below. All right, so this was heavy, y'all. So here they are showing that they have three types of comb binding machines. They have the comb binding, the wire binding, and the coil. So I have purchased the coil. It's a personal binding machine series. This is the one I have that I believe this runs electrically. And... We'll find out shortly. I'm gonna turn my camera up. Um, so let's get this box open. Oh, and let me just say, so this is the second time I'm actually trying to do an unboxing. I recently purchased this machine and I purchased it from a third party seller via Amazon. And when I got it, the inside was broke. On the side, there's like a little gadget right here that was broken off and it was used and so presentation is everything even if i did purchase this as a used product i would expect it to look like new i would expect the drawer to be empty there's no holes when i took it out the box holes were everywhere and so for the first time i actually had to give a negative amazon review and i felt really bad about it but i had to let them know like this is not how you ship to a seller to a purchaser even if it is a used product. I expected it to be new. So let's see. 
this looks like the original packaging because I can see these hard staples on the side. It's in the original box. And so let's, I like how it has the carry on. Although I probably won't keep it in here. Probably save the box for a little bit, but I probably will not keep it. Okay, so already I can tell that this is different because the machine actually sets, sits inside of the styrofoam. So we have the operation guide here. This is a four to one standard coil pitch. Page binding capacity, 440 pages. Maximum sheet size, 11 inches. 12 page punch capacity. And so you open it up and it just gives you more deets and specifications, helpful hint, hints in the operation guide, which I will probably follow because I have not used this type of machine before. Let me get this out and then I'll be right back. All right, so here's already what I like about how they package this item is here on the side, the one thing that was broke is encased in the styrofoam to protect it. So kudos to them for that. Uh -oh. And then it also came with this little box, which I thought was styrofoam. And it is, I guess these are clamping pliers to clamp off the coils, I guess in the event that I'm not doing a full size eight by 11. And so that was it. So let's now, this is the handle. And then we'll just remove the styrofoam and then look at the picture to find out where the handle goes. Um, okay, so the handle goes over there. Okay, so I uh, can you see this? Okay, so you have to unscrew this, and then I will set that in and then screw it back. Simple. Simple, simple, simple. And then here is the tray. Wait, was that? Let's see. Okay, there we go. <laughs> so directions, everything. So you wanna make sure when you're putting it on that your handle is up in the air. So that when you actually press it down, it punches, makes sense? All right, and so here's your um, dot tray, your trash tray from the hole punching. You have your on and off switch, which I did not turn it on yet. And then here we have our paper guide. This is the letter size. And I guess it doesn't give you any other option. So it's telling you about the spiral sizes. Um, I wonder if this has to do with max binding 20 pound sheet. Sorry if you guys hear my son's voice from downstairs. This is why we tell you how many pages. And then this is telling you the um, millimeters versus the inches um, for the max guide. This is the thing I think that's going to scare me the most because when you turn it on, it's supposed to um, it's supposed to move and you suck it in. This is called a depth margin, which does it pull out or go in or what? I don't know. 
doesn't only move when <laughs> I don't know but we'll figure it out maximum punch capacity 12 sheets of paper all right So it tells you to set the depth margin based on the total thickness of the book being bound. Using a greater margin on thick documents will make them more durable. The electric coil insert can be used, inserter can be used to coil 7 eighths of an inch diameter. Larger coils can be used but must be inserted manually. Empty your waste bin regularly before punching your doc document. Try punching a test sheet to ensure that the machine has been set properly. To maintain your punch, spray a small amount of lubricant on a sheet of paper and punch through it, following, a, following by punching a clean sheet to remove any residue. If punching, cover, if punching cover stock or thick paper, you will need to reduce the number of sheets per punch so you don't jam it. Awesome. What it doesn't tell you is if you Push it in or pull it out. Oh, woo, there you go. Oh, and it actually kind of came up when I did that. So it says 2.5, 4.5, and there's another one that I don't, I can't see. So it doesn't tell what is the, so it's like 2.5, 4.5, and there's something else in there, but I don't know. So, okay. It said, first thing it said was get a test sheet. And I'm going to plug it up shortly. What is this? Let me go get a plain sheet of paper. So, all right. So, I have my plain sheet of paper. And because it's letter size, I'm going to push it to that mark that says letter. Gonna insert it and then gonna pull my handle down. You hear that nice clean cut? Voila, there are your holes. It's a lot of holes, but it also says it is a four to one. So that means there are four holes to one inch. Four to one and so i hope that's what my coils are <laughs> one way to determine is you can manually start it and just normally you have more than one piece of paper to, <laughs> to make the paper stay and you just twist it through if you need to do this manually okay so this looks pretty much the size that i need all right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my DIY planner that I made using Canva, and it's pretty much gonna be, I guess, a social media business planner for myself. If you're interested in a Canva account, make sure you click the link down below. This was created, you can create this particular type in the free version, I believe. Yes, in the free version. But I do have the paid version if you want to try a, I believe it's a seven day free free version account. Just click that link down below. Um, there are some awesome little things that you can do outside of the paid version that I like. So I am going to sit down, punch these. I was definitely supposed to yeah. 
I'm supposed to laminate my cover. Error number one. Okay, so I didn't do my back sheet because I wasn't supposed to do my front sheet. <laughs> How about that? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go set up my laminator. I am using the Tamerica um, laminator. Is that what I said? Laminator? Highlighter? Mm. I'm using my Tamerica or Tamerica. And I did do a video on that. I will post a link to that video up above. I am going to laminate my covers and then I will come back and I will play with this thingamajigger. And let's see how that works. Okay? All right. All right. So what I just wanted to show you guys real quick. I have my paper in the laminate. And um, I already know this is going to mess up. But this is how we learn how to make our journals and so I am using a 10 ml laminating paper that I got from Amazon came with 50 pouches and the dimensions are 9 by 11 and a half so I am going to actually cut down some of it um, because I don't want it to be um, like super super big and so here's the product number if you're looking for that but I'll have a link down below and then I, once my laminator heats up, I'll shoot these through, then come back, then punch these holes, and then put it together. All right, guys, so my covers are laminated, and you want to make sure when you're punching your holes that you have your cover at the top and then your backside facing this way, as it would be on the book. So the one thing I do... <laughs> I do like about um, this here is that there's a cheat sheet. So I previously already did my holes, but because I now have that quarter inch, what I can do is match up. Uh -oh. Match up. You can see the holes are on the inside. So I know exactly where I'm going to move my marker to. Boom. right there all right so my marker is going to be there that's how I know where my page is going to insert and because this is 10 mil I'm just going to do it by itself I know it's going to be off on the cover page and so it's fairly close and pretty much I am okay with it because that part is sealed so those are the only open holes and so here we'll just do this one and then that one was absolute perfect all right guys and so I did trim it down I only left a little edge and I will actually go back and um, trim it actually I think I'm gonna put this through the laminator one more again Normally I do it like two or three times, but because of the time of the video, I only did it once, but I think I'm going to do it again. All right, so I put it back through and I grabbed my corner chomper because these points over here are edgy. And what you want to, oops, sorry. What you want to, sorry for the ring glare, make sure is that when you're doing your, your laminate, see right there? Make sure you don't cut too close, which I did, which is why I wanted to put it back through. Um, 
that you don't cut too close to it. So it's probably best to um, cut it after you're done. All right, so this may not go through with the corner rounder. I am doing the, actually only want the quarter inch. It has a half and a quarter inch on here. And I only want the quarter inch. So I have my, sis my scissors. Oh, it did cut through. I have my scissors to, um, but I didn't want to open back up. Have my scissors to go back over it. But hey. All right. Booyah. I didn't even need that. All right. She believes she could, so she did. My whew, social media. And this is not like officially my business journal because I will be doing a um, business journal, business planner, but this is just one. So I'm going to have a whole line of planners. So make sure you guys stay tuned. Make sure you are following me on Instagram as well as Facebook, as well as YouTube. Click that like and subscribe button so that you guys will know when things drop. All right, so let me get this power cord situation going. Let me find out where it goes. And then we will, um, I, we have so many cords and adapters and it actually does not have the name. I'm probably gonna have to put a label to say what this goes to, start labeling stuff. Because we'll be looking at stuff and trying to plug it into something and it won't work. All right, so there's a little thing in the back. And sorry if the light goes down, but I didn't, uh, there was an extension cord over here. Oh, shucks. It was already on. Slow down. <laughs> see, this is what I'm talking about. I think I'm going to be afraid of because y'all see how that thing just went? That makes me nervous. I'm a scary person. All right. So I am, I'm going to start it because I don't, I don't know how this thing works. So I'm going to put it through. And I used a big coil because there's a lot of pages here. But I just have to find that one. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. Get in there, girl. Get in there. All right, there we go. There we go. All right, so now I'm about to, I don't know how many I'm supposed to do. Should I do another one? Maybe I'll just do another one. Okay. I'm going to turn it on. Y'all pray. I hope I don't <laughs> jump. Let me make sure that everything is lined up in here. Is it? I don't know. I can see. I don't know how this is supposed to work, y'all. Am I supposed to? I don't know. But here goes nothing. All right, here we go. Okay, nope. No. What am I supposed to do? What am I doing wrong? Do I need to do it on my own? Yo, check it out. And I'm moving the book down as I'm doing it so that it's going to okay <laughs> I'm cracking up y'all it, it definitely scared me when I did it so I'm just turning it so that I could get it towards the back and then um, I'm going to clip it or clamp it now that the one thing that I did not do is um 
I didn't watch a video <laughs> on how to um, tail end it. So I'm sure I need to turn it like I would do with the coils. Um, but I probably should have watched the video. But y'all are so cute. It's so cute. Now this is a little different. This here has a um I don't know what this is. I might need to watch a vid a video. <laughs> a video to see how to um to cut this off. Now this I don't necessarily want it cut. I just want to turn it. And then Hold on, once again, BRB, because I'm gonna make sure I'm telling y'all right. All right, so I watched a video to see that I was supposed to let it go through the other side. So let's see if it will, yeah, there we go. There we go, so that is overhang on both sides. Now we take this, and you're supposed to make sure that the red side is up you clamp and then you turn it clockwise clamp clockwise so it's up and i'm gonna put it wait am i supposed to hold it this way hold it this way and so i don't know what part is supposed to clamp <laughs> y'all are finding out right with me and that is what i love about my channel is that we are learning together. So I am clamping and turning that way. Okay. So how do I do it with this? So that worked. Wait. Can I get it in here? To, let's see. So this is where I have it and I'm clamping. Oh, it clamped all the way. I couldn't even turn it. I tried to clamp and turn. Let's see if it will allow me to, but it would need to turn counterclockwise so that it goes on the inside there. All right, so I kind of, Got to do a little bit more practicing with that part. But here is the actual planner. As you can see, it opens, it flips. Uh -oh. Have my notes, my monthlies, my weekly plans, three goals for the week. Yep, so I did all 12 months in here. Undated, because sometimes I'm consistent and sometimes I am not. So, that is it, guys. I can't even hold it up, but that is it for my unboxing of the True Bind Coil Binding TB S12 machine. And as is right now, I do like it. I just need a little more practice. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. If you have any tips or tricks that would help me out in the future when making my notebooks, I would gladly appreciate it. Don't forget to click that like and subscribe button and follow me on all social media. That's Instagram, Etsy, Facebook, YouTube, and Pinterest. And until next time, see ya.